What's up, my dudes? Valk here, and today I'm going to tell you guys how to get demonic hearts. Now, I know you guys have asked me a ton how to get these. You guys can see I have 233. I have like an unlimited supply of them. Um, it's actually really easy to get them right now because there is a Christmas event. I love Christmas, and this gives me an excuse to try out spatial sensitivity. This is just a team I threw together. People are like, Why aren't you running this character? Why aren't you running that character? I'm just trying this team out, seeing how it goes, but. I want to talk to you guys today about this because you guys ask me a ton on how to get demonic hearts and this is the time to do it if you guys are going to play the game a lot this is genuinely the time because you want to go to christmas christmas mansion and you guys can see um demonic hearts are 10 percent drop right here if you go to like any other stage because it's in every legend stage uh there's a chance of demonic hearts dropping you go to like any other you guys can see it's five percent um let's see Idol concert 20%, 25%, and then here 10%, and then from Boo's World 10%. So you guys get the idea. Uh, you're going to want to run Christmas Mansion a bunch. You're going to want to try it and try to run it as much as possible and kind of just go from there. Uh, basically, whenever it comes to getting your demonic hearts, it's just play whatever seasonal event is out play it a ton and you're going to get a bunch everybody's always asking me how to get it this is how you get it from legend stages but the best time to get it is during events is during stuff like christmas halloween halloween's how i basically stocked up so i had infinite amount so i've never had to worry about demonic cards but i do know they are a pain to get outside of these so make sure you get them you know while they're here so we're going to start off with grimmy grimmy is a fantastic unit by the way i don't know if you guys know that Grimmy's really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and put you down, put you down. And like I said, I just wanted to try out um, this team. I don't know how good it's going to be, but we're going to find out. So we're going to go ahead and plop these guys down. We do want to get a cash demo down as soon as possible. So that's a thing that's going to have to happen ASAP. So we're going to go ahead and let Grimmy kind of do all the work. And we're going to cut off effects because I don't want to lose my eyes later on. Uh, now that he's a hill, we're going to go ahead and put down Kashimo, another Kashimo, and then one more Kashimo for the back. And we're going to take this Kashimo, and we're just going to upgrade him until he gets his line here, uh, which shouldn't take too, too long. Uh, just because we want to make sure that we have that, that damage, basically, coming through. And whenever Kashimo gets to his line, right here, we can set him to last. And then we should be good to go ahead and start working on money. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to start working on our dingies and get going from there. So this, click here, click you. Dude, we are generating more money than I can use already. All right, so we're going to come here, arrange this. All right, upgrade you all the way. And you guys can see the amount of damage this Kashimo does. That's why I'd be telling you guys, just use the units they give you right away for like stuff like this. Like, and then we're going to put down Giselle. Giselle is really good for early on. Uh, Giselle is, it's, Giselle's kind of a funny character. She's good for, like, story stages and stuff, but outside of that, not really. Um, and then we can go ahead and start maxing out Grimmy. Grimmy's pretty cheap to max. Grimmy's really, really strong. Just a really good unit in general. Actually, actually, you know what? Let me sell Grimmy. Let me move Grimmy back here. The one Kashimo is good enough for right now, right there. All right, cool. So now Grimmy's right there. We're gonna go ahead and put a Gojo here. Have this Gojo get maxed out. We're gonna have this Gojo go to line. We're gonna set this Gojo to Cosmic because Cosmic's gonna be really good. I'm gonna to place other Gojos down. So let's go ahead and do this. Cosmic. This one put him on a line. It doesn't show it right now, but if I like click him again, you guys can see he's got a line. Uh, we want to set him to last. Line characters being set to last is always the best bet. Okay, now we're going to take this Kashimo. We're going to put him over here, and then we're going to uh, max him out. Then we'll take this Kashimo. We're going to put him over here. We're going to max him out. And you guys can kind of see what the plan is right now. All right, so now that that's all said and done, we're going to take a Gojo. Put a Gojo here. And we're going to put him slow. 
Take another Gojo. Put a Gojo here. And put him to slow. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, slow, slow. And now I think the only things left are Giselle. Which, I'm gonna be real, you only really use one Giselle anyways. This is just to kind of like max out everything I've got going on. I think I've now placed all I can. Yep, and now I kind of just chill out till I lose, which I don't think I'll be able to get super far with this team. But I just want to see how Kashima does. And so far, honestly, so good. I, I like it so far. I think he's doing great. Um, 411k attack is weird because I got him to 708k. Does All Might make that big of a difference? I don't think so, no. Huh. They might. Mm -mm -mm. So now I'm kind of just waiting to die. And you guys will see how many demonic cards I get per run. It's There's no real average to it because it's a low drop rate. But these infinites, whenever they do these seasonal infinites, it's so easy to get a ton. It's so, so easy. Two build damage. Uh, how much are you? You're two build damage. And you are 1 million. What about Grimmy? What's Grimmy at? 2 build damage as well. Mm -mm -mm. If he was full AoE with this passive dude, oh my god, would he be insane. But nah, he's just a straight line. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with the line. Look at the amount of debuffs on them. <laughs> I told you, he's like Shanks for this team. Right? It does a very good job of doing that, essentially, of just being shanks. Just the amount of damage he just turns out is so wacky good. So much damage. Um, They're starting to push by, so let me go ahead and activate Void now. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Too much enemy. Alright. So, the whole goal of this is to time stop them. <clears throat> Make it so... You can kind of rack up the damage, get what score you can, because now it's probably where we're going to lose. I don't see us making them much further than this, but it doesn't matter, because I'm just trying to show you guys. I wanted, I wanted to try this game out just to see about what I can expect from it, and just try to get an idea of like what it can do. Right? So... Yeah, we're gonna feed everybody now. And it doesn't matter what we do now, because it's pretty much over. So now we're just waiting to die, and then you guys will see how many demonic cards I get at the end of this. This is how you farm demonic cards. This is how I did it whenever the Halloween event was here. This is how I'm gonna do it. Anytime a, a holiday event's around, I'm going to grind it. Grind it for 2,000 to 5,000 waves, somewhere in the range. Grind the hell out of it. And then I'm going to get a bunch of hearts. And that's it. all there is to it. So here, we got one demonic card. Right, that's actually really low. Normally we get more than one. But you get the idea. You just do another run, you get another demonic card, do another run, get another demonic card, rinse, rinse, and repeat. Other than that, thank you guys all for watching as always. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Just grind this event, grind the Christmas event while it's here to grind demonic cards easily. If you're not grinding the Christmas event for demonic cards, then good luck getting demonic cards because the other events are kind of a pain to grind. Whereas they make these um, holiday events pretty easy to grind simply because they want new players to be able to participate too. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.